Okay guys, thanks for clicking. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is it. This is the Project Twin Detonator back from the dead. What I've done is I've put the two ESCs in it, put the two motors in it. We've got two, two S batteries we're going to run today and uh, we're going to see how fast it goes. Will it beat that nine miles an hour world record set by the two mega Mega Koishe, Koishe Mega Motors? Koishe Mega Motors. Let's have a look. Now, before I show you the car, the shell was in a bad way. It had three layers of paint on the inside. Three layers on the inside, what's the point of that? And at least three layers on the outside, one of which was Tipex, or correction fluid, depending on where you were in the world. Very interesting paint job. Must have took ages with that little tiny brush. Anyway, I've cleaned it all off best I can, and I've, sp I've sprayed it up to try and bit a bit of a, bit of a channel colors. Um, if I'm honest, it looks a bit like a high school, high school project, art <laughs> project. But don't judge me too bad, guys. This is my first go. Let's see what she looks like. Okay. Okay, so I have not tested this at all. As you can see, we've got two ESCs, we've got two batteries, two S batteries we're running today. This one, I put these two rubber bits on here. Uh, I reversed the, the old bracket that used to stop you from banging the, banging the shell. And uh, I've used a couple of rubber cables that came off my... Um, Garmin bike computer and they hold the battery very well. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we've got a receiver up the front I've left the steering servo on there because I just want to see if it runs and we've got the two motors in there I've got for the wheels off the uh, Maverick Phantom, so uh, they'll probably be rubbish, but we'll see how we go um, And yeah, we've already got a problem with the steering The problem with the steering is I don't know why Tammy has set their cars up like this But when you push it down the tires toe in massively uh, psh, don't know <laughs> what that's all about but I'll look at that if it like, if it survives but basically I've not normally you'll see people do this and they'll hold it up in the air and rev it up see how much the tires expand but I'm almost convinced this is just going to explode so uh, I'm not going to do that let's connect it up and see see if it works guys I'm really excited for this one okay so we're all on power running We've got steering. Let's put that beautifully designed body shell back on. Truly amazing, that body shell. I could do this for a living. <laughs> right, these back ones can be a bit tricky to get in. There we go. One. And there's two. Okay. We've got the speed meter on. I'm literally going to turn it on right now. Because if, <laughs> if it explodes, I want to get at least some speed out of it. Right. Does it move? Yes. Oh. It's, my, it's registering. Okay, guys. Are you ready for this? I say, if it survives, we'll put 3S on it. I've got some 3S batteries. I've got another one coming, but I've only got the two for today. So we'll just see if it works on 2S. Here we go. Don't get scared now. Okay. The steering's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit confused. I'm just gonna, no, okay, why is it pulling left? Let's see if I can counteract that a bit. Okay, <laughs> I think we might have a, the steering might be a bit of a problem, guys. It's just pulling itself all over the way. I can't get any throttle into it. 
see when we accelerate it's just it's pulling itself right and I've got no control over the servo to put it back straight again come on I want to get a run out of you right let's put you guys back on the road and we'll see <laughs> oh man I was so excited for this I can't even roll the power on slowly What can I do about that? All right, what about that? I've adjusted the trim. Well, don't go down there. No, if anything, that's made it worse. I can get no throttle into it at all, guys. It's got no torque in it. Oh, hello. Perhaps we've only got one engine working. Oh, we've only got one engine working, guys. Oh, we flicked the switch off. It's all good. Right, we've got both on. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. It doesn't even straighten itself out, it literally... Oh dear, I've got no control! No control! It's got some power guys, it really has. I just can't use any of it. Oh man, it's almost uncontrollable. I mean, it's, it's got speed. I just can't keep that speed in a straight line. try slowly going up there and then coming back it's <laughs> oh man you would need a runway the size of the moon to keep this thing on the road I think it's probably that old style Tamiya steering geometry Uh, oh no, she's out, she's out. That's good fun, but it's dumb. It's got to be more than nine miles an hour. Glad you didn't see the crash, guys. Oh dear, she's not getting out of there. She's got stuck in a rut. Oh man, it's totally covered in mud now. 
That might be it for this one, guys. I can't keep it in a straight line. Right, what did we get anyway? 25 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour is not bad. It's not bad considering I can't keep any kind of power on at all. And I mean any power. Okay guys, I've probably got muddle over my face from that last wheel spin, but never mind. Well, it was fun, and I definitely beat nine mile an hour, 25 mile an hour, but it's not what I was hoping for. It's completely uncontrollable. It either goes left or right, but does not go straight. So I just have to take it back to the, back, back to the shed, back to the drawing board, sort that steering out, and I will be back. And I'll be back to see how fast we can go with Project Back From The Dead. If you enjoyed this one, guys, or you want to see if I can actually make it work, please consider subscribing. Give me a like and click the bell so you don't miss any of the exciting videos of me failing miserably to give you a fast speed. Thanks for watching guys, see you again next time, bye bye.